All right, guys, let's get back to Evo Land 2. Now, if we remember back to the previous episode, uh, wait a second. That's not right. We did this. All right, anyway, we'll do this in a minute. Uh, remember back to the previous episode, we um, went to Geneva. Yeah, Geneva. And it's quite changed, and it's all to do with traders and um, disciples. And it seems like the uh, traders are scamming people for, like, uh, smug, which is their sort of energy type here. Well, again, it's another... I know, I know it's one of Einstein's quotes from me, but it's another philosophical way to uh, sort of uh, see things, definitely. So, um, uh, anyway... Um, yeah, back to the recap. So, yeah, the traders are selling people smug and they're basically making people homeless. And then this bit here, we got to here, and this guy is the prophet. And he is, uh, we started doing some disciple training. And, um, yeah, we got so far, and then we got an aircraft and we landed on top, and we're going to take the stone at time. But this guy is like trying to stop us. And we went through this on, uh, we did this whole fight and everything um, on the end of the stream on Friday. But for some reason, it's uh, not going through. But funny enough, now that I've paused it, I didn't actually realize we've got this whole sort of like move list, which is um, which is pretty um, helpful. So we can actually see what uh, we need to do. But we'll just try and wing it, I guess. Deathwish with the 19-month Twitch Prime resub, my man. Absolute legend. Thank you very much, buddy. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're well. Hope you're well. Okay, we're going to get our ass handed to us here, I think. the special combo? Oh, that's it. I know when I was doing this the other night, I was like, I was like making it up as I went along. We've got that like flashing bar and I don't really know how to use it. I think it's like the um, the one at the bottom, uh, the one at the bottom right there, which is like uh, double up and then punch, but um, seems uh, pretty difficult to pull off. There we go. So yeah, it is that move. Uh, I've lost focus. Man. Screwed over by my controller. Gotta run the final round here. There we go. We win. All right, look, we don't have to do both fights, so. Uh, all right, we'll skip through this dialogue because we've already been through it once, and then we will uh, maybe be able to crack on then. Oh, that was it. We was uh, he called us the destroyer, didn't he? That was right. I forgot about that one. We was doing now. Uh, yeah, it's a bit of a that's like the Street Fighter aspect of the game. I really love that like this game like takes from so many other games. You've only had degrees in Fahrenheit. <laughs> Classic death wish. Boo, 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 boo. Not to be played bowling with. Yeah, 
It's the same game, man. They really went all out with the uh, the second game for sure. How'd you get inside the pyramid? Oh, I see. You must be a friend of our prophet. May the great destroyer spare you. Well, I, apparently I am the great destroyer, so... Hey-ho. Oh, who are you? You have the stone of time, Kuro. Good, I'm counting on you. We will meet again. Uh, and who is that, exactly? Now, what I don't know is, is if, like, I skipped a bit, because I think I was meant to go to the Pirate Island thing. Um, but we decided to go there instead, so... We go to the harbour now. Maybe we can go over to the uh, the pirate island. Moving crates and barrels around all day is exhausting, but it pays good. To be a sailor's wife, you have to learn patience and then avoid worrying too much, especially with all those tales people tell you about the cursed isle. Yeah, that's what we're heading to the cursed isle. So like all of the uh, buildings may be shut, so. Not too much to see here. So there's a real superstitious. Just listen to them talk about the cursed isle. They think the ghost of the dreaded pirate Roberts lives there. Nobody knows if they even existed. So his ghost? Life isn't all peaches and cream out at sea, but things are even worse on land. Well, at least the captain isn't around to keep tabs on us. Where's the captain? The latest storm caused more flooding. It gets worse every year. If it keeps up like this, the harbour will be swallowed up by the sea. Well, the prophet was saying that the Great Destroyer is going to flood everywhere, so could be a sign that uh, we're going to flood everything. Phew! Finally, a bit of rest. The captain works us to the bone, but being a sailor is a calling. The open sea, exploring the unknown, adventures with a cap with a with a capital A, my friend. If only there weren't all these planks and scrubs and sails to fill, rigging to repair. Yeah, I bet, man. But it's been uh, pretty wild lately. I came to board the ship, but the captain refuses to leave. May the wrath of the great destroyer strike him down. Uh, well, uh, once we've arrived, I mean. I'd rather nothing happen on the way there. If you want to set sail, you'll have to ask the captain. He's the one who decides when we leave and where we're heading. Well, I have a letter. Hopefully you'll let me go where I want to go. But we're no leaving this harbour for now. I've got a bad feeling and I'm almost always right. It must be the ghost of that infamous pirate Roberts. That island off the coast is cursed, I tell you. If you want to sail, go and get a force majeure letter from someone in the Council of Traders. Till then, I won't budge. You should be able to score one in Geneva if you look around. But it'll cost you a pretty penny. Traders aren't known to give stuff away. We've already got one. Yeah, weather weatherman is getting like proper crazy. Everyone's like whole sort of climate is changing so much at the minute. It's crazy. Well, eff it. Don't say I didn't warn you. I've got a bad feeling about this trip. Well, where exactly did you want to go? What? You want to go to the Cursed Isle? Isn't it just my lucky day? Yeah, I know, man. Fair warning, there's no way we're docking there. You can get off in a rowboat and board again after. And I won't wait for you more than an hour. If you don't come back alive, that's your problem. Have I made myself clear? Sure. Okay, so do you want to leave now? Yes. All right, then. Let's go. It's it's like predicted that I think I'm sure it's predicted where I live. They predict like in about 20, 30 years that the whole area is going to be like underwater. So. It's a bit yikes. So this is the cursed isle. It looks rather nice. I should have brought my bathing suit. Okay, can we go back to the ship now? No. Quick now, before the ghost come and gobbles it up. Right, let's get 
the same sort of emblem and emblem and then easy for me to say as the sign of time. These must be the Meji ruins, the death the Dean spoke of at the library. But where has the Magilif gone? I hope it isn't buried under all this sand. Solid snail. Might you know how to dig it out? Um How about I use you? Hey, look at that. There we go. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty much the same maker. I don't tend to read the news too much because I just I'm just fed up of like what the media report on a lot of the time. I kind of feel it's best sometimes to say stay oblivious to everything that's going on. But that's just me. People say the more you know, but I think the the less you know. Especially the way the media sort of like reports news stories and things these days. It's all hype and scaremongering. In my opinion, anyway. Uh, anyway. Oh, so we can't get anywhere else. Just want to check everywhere there. Ooh. Okay. I guess I gotta... That's not gonna work, is it? Okay, so maybe we go from this side then. Propaganda galore, and that's coming from like free free world countries. Not coming from any like state controlled media places. Finally, we found a magilith. See, Minus, you didn't have to be such a pessimist. It appears to be a functional. Perhaps the stone of time has enabled it. That's exactly what I was thinking. Anyway, that's our ticket out of here. I would not be so sure. What if we end up in an altogether new era? A time without mystery. De de devoid of poverty. Poetry, sorry. A time when life consists of killing people. FPS style. What the heck are you on about? I'm only theorizing. It is equally possible that we will end up in my era, or that of Miss Fina and Solid Snail. But, as Miss Fina would say, I fear we have no other choice anyway. Exactly. Off we go, Kiro. We won't know until we get there, and I don't want to stick around in this future. Through the wormhole we go. Ah! Uh, Minus? Oh no! You turned into a woman! Minus? That name rings a bell. Probably shouldn't do a deep voice anymore. So you're not Minus? I'm sorry, I was very startled to see you appear like that. I haven't introduced myself. My name is... Velvet. Velvet. And who might you be? For that matter, how did you get here? Minus. Kuro, I'm afraid Minus is stuck in the future. 
Maybe because Velvet was in that very right, that very spot, right at the precise moment, which means he wasn't able to materialize here. Magilith, it's deactivated. Kira, you think somebody messed with the stone time? You're right. It doesn't seem likely someone would have followed us to this island. The Magilith? Stone of time? I knew it! You're Magi! No, we're ordinary humans. We're just on a really long trip. By the way, could you tell us what year it is exactly? We're in 999. Not for much longer, mind you. The celebration for the 50th anniversary of the Empire's victory will co coincide with the new millennium. Kuro, we're finally back! I'll see my village again! Yeah, man, I started like 20... 25 years ago? Yeah. 50th anniversary! But that's when the great disaster is supposed to happen. What disaster? Kuro, I know we can stop this from happening. We don't have much time. We need to find out what happened, uh, what will happen. So, it was true. I never believed it. According to the ancient text, Magilus can be used to travel through time. And you've found the Stone of Time. I've spent my whole life looking for it. It's a long story. I really don't have time to tell you right now. If the great disaster comes to pass, then... I do not want that future. Let me go with you. I've studied the Magi for years. If all this has something to do with them, then you can count on my help. It could be dangerous, you know. I'm no stranger to danger myself. What do you think, Kuro? Should you come with us? Sure. Thank you. All right then, let's start get by getting out of here. Your timing is perfect. I'm being held captive by pirates. If you hadn't arrived, I don't know what I would have made it out. I don't know if I would have made it out on my own. Over, join the team. Pirates, you say? Doesn't that sound familiar, Kuro? All right, we're back to 2D platforming style. Well, not platforming, but 2D style. Despite its dilapidated appearance, this gate is fairly steady. I can weaken it with my power, but you will have to destroy it. To be making uh, sandcastles. The prisoners getting away! Yeah, who dares oppose us? We are the fierce pirates of the bay. Claims to own the ships crumble at our feet. What's yours is ours. And vice versa. What did you say, Wedge? You're supposed to say, and all that jazz. Yeah, I know, but I thought vice versa sent nicer. I mean, who still says and all that jazz nowadays? Biggs, he kind of got a good point. Please don't tell me there's a Biggs and a Wedge like Final Fantasy. Oh, jeez. Well, that's... <laughs> but nobody ever listens to me in these group meetings. Yarr, Monsieur Fair. <laughs> all I ask is that you say what we, <laughs> what we said to say. If we say something different every time, what's the point of these meetings? I have to agree with you there, Biggs. Right, so where are we now? And all that jazz. Right, sorry, Biggs. It's water under the bridge. Hey, wait. That's not the prisoner. Motion to hold a meeting on subject of our next move. Motion accepted. Don't I just like run away while you're debating stuff? So Biggs and Wedge is a running is a running theme in uh, Final Fantasy. Most Final Fantasy games have a Biggs and a Wedge. I'm not sure about, don't think Jesse, but yeah. Okay, gotta go. I don't have to go past these. I can sneak past them. Take any of the treasure. Oh, 
I gotta just, just gotta go. This is no way out of here without uh, going by these guys. So this time I'll keep my word. I'll do what we've decided on. We're busy here. Soon you will witness the bloodiest of the pirate, the bloodlust of the pirates at the bay. At least that's what I plan to suggest at the meeting. I agree with everyone else. What's the use of holy meetings if we just fight? One moment. Can't you see we're in the middle of a meeting? Alright, so... Where can I go then? Just go this way. All right. Having heard the arguments and counter arguments and suggestions, I've made my decision. We will attack the intruder because we are the fierce pirates of the bay. Motion accepted. Uh, Biggs? What now, Edge? It's just that, looking at the intruder, I think I recognize him. And why couldn't you say something earlier? It's just. If you look real close, his red hair, goggles on his forehead, none of that rings a bell for you. It's the ghost of Pirate Roberts! He's come back to have his revenge! Everyone, get on the ship! Alright, well, that was pretty easy. You got a wonderful boat. Man, carrying all this equipment is getting ridiculous. Yeah, it's pretty heavy. <laughs> Would you like to set sail? Yes. Yar. Alright, so now we have access to other places and other islands. You gotta be pretty brave to assault our lair, but I'm afraid we only accept challenges from other pirates. I have a boat and everything. Am I not a pirate? Oh, we can actually explore a little bit. Not that there's anything else in these directions at the moment. Just more up here, I guess. Cursed be the name of that pirate, Roberts. Because of him and his treasure, everyone vies to become Pirate King. With all those criminals running about, every child wants to grow up to be a pirate. Arr, me arties. I just love cooking. Seems a gourmet chef is trying to make over McDonald's. Do you think he'll be able to reinvent that wretched excuse of a restaurant? Personally, I doubt it. Well... I think you'll find McDonald's grows into uh, quite a successful chain. I was still a wee lad when the Pirate Roberts sailed the open sea. Then were good old days. I used to come to the beach and watch the boats, but the waves covered up all the sand bit by bit. You reckon Sierra Arbor will be completely flooded someday? I don't know why that might went into like a bit of a farmer accident there. I should just stop with the voices. What on earth are the Imperial Special Forces up to? They're supposed to be protecting the citizens, yet they do nothing to stand up to the pirates of the bay. All I want is to get rich without my ships being boarded and pillaged. We're sisters. Hee hee hee. We're sisters. Hee hee hee. Hmm. Okay. I don't know if you knew guys, but they're sisters. Pirates so love challenging each other to bare knuckle brawls. I find it also brutal and barbaric, don't you? Nothing to see here. Alright, so where do we need to go?
I don't understand why the demons don't just try and run away. I mean, that's what I would do if I were them. It must be proof that they're just animals. Some say a member of the Demonian Royal Family survived. Do you think they will return to save us one day? Yeah, they did survive, but I don't really know where he is at the moment. When all hope is lost, nothing remains but a deep black hole. All days are alike. Everything just repeats endlessly. Living and reliving the same pain is that was that what eternal life is like? Is that what eternal life is like? Sorry, it's my pronunciation there was terrible. Ah, and thank you very much for the hydrate. With a little look, I'll die soon in a rock slide. Yeah. <laughs> In the beginning were the words, and the words made the world. I am the words. I am the words. The words are everything. Where the world end, words end, the world ends. You cannot go forward in absence of space. Repeat. <laughs> what was this? We got the key from the children. Where are the children? This game would have been so much simpler with a lockpicking skill. So what, what? What key did I just get from the children? Mesh are confused. Demons captured during the war work here to bolster the vampire's wealth. It's a good thing demons live so long and are so hardy. Maybe we'll free them in another 50 years or so. What are the keys for then? Because I just said, maybe because I just said about thank you for uh, the hydrate atom. <laughs> and I think it comes up on chat anyway as well, doesn't it? Laboratory. Been here before, but nobody was around last time, so. A laboratory. That door looks awfully familiar. Well, I don't think we can. I'm not sure we can actually do anything with it. So we we time travelled again, Atom, and Minus didn't make it through. But we have now got um, a new character called Velvet. He was there when we. Um, we actually made it through the time travel, so we don't really know what's happened to uh, Minus at this point. Still trying to uh, understand. We'll get some answers, but we have travelled back in time now to just before the uh, Great Disaster. Well, let's go to uh, Geneva. Because I think that's probably going to be the best place to go. I know you're ready for the celebration. Everything must be perfect. Have you seen a boy all dressed in green? No. If I find him, he'll be sorry. He just walked into my house and started smashing all my beautiful pots, yelling, Hiya! Hiya! My servants are distraught over it. You will not get away with this. Mark my words. Anybody uh, know the reference there? Anybody know who the, uh, the boy in green is smashing pots? set eyes on a demon in years. All the ones taken prisoner work in the mine nowadays. They got what they deserve. After all, they were the ones who attacked us, right? What did they? You're too young to remember the great age of the Colosseum. 
I thought there actually. That was just, that was a good 50 years ago. I was just a youngster then. I remember being a big fan of one fighter in particular. Now, what was his name again? Minosix? Something like that. My husband doesn't do any chores. All day long he just screws off and daydreams. But I can't really hold it against him. That's just how he was raised. My grandma told me how one time some folks escaped through the sewers. They've been sealed up since, but we still have to watch them just in case. Who knows, the pirates of the bay might feel like attacking. You think they could get in through the sewers? Well, possibly. I certainly got out of the sewers, so... Maybe peacetime, but how would you like some new, nice new gear? Sure. I actually know if like the weapons and stuff actually do anything in this, or if they're just like typical kind of RPG kind of upgradable sort of thing. I'm not sure they give you any better like attack or damage. Protect your feet, but not against blisters. Sell the old gear. Have a good one. It's very, uh, am I meant to be able to walk through the crates? It doesn't seem right. Are we good to go? Yes. Perfect. Our goal is simple. Blow everything up. Yeah. All right, everyone, at the ready. Operation Great Disaster is a go. Yes, Prophet. All right, so this is the Prophet as a kid, right? Did he cause a great disaster? Who are you? You think you can thwart the prophet's plans? Nee, 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 nee. Hmm. What? You want to enter our secret base? First, you got to bring me the five keys that prove you're one of us. We each keep keep close watch on our keys, so it won't be easy. Where the heck is my key? Dang it! I must have lost it when I was playing in that mine west of Geneva. Yes, I now have your key. The store is closed. Alright, so I've got to find the other kids then, I guess, and... Uh, I've got to find the other kids and see if I can find the keys, right? I really have to find five keys. That could be quite tedious. Oh, well, there's a key. That's two keys. What customer service would look like in Evo Land? Hmm. There's a chest there. That's uh, seems like it's a uh, prime sort of place to uh, put a key, doesn't it? Welcome, young players. Come and learn to play the greatest game of all time. Why, naturally, I'm talking about the game of cards. You collect cards and clash with your friends, armies. But only one will be left standing. That looks cool, Kiro. Step up and find out more. Aha, a new player enters the fold. As a welcome gift, allow me to offer you these three cards. Got squirrel. Would you like to know more about the game of cards? Uh, yeah, sure. Find yourself an opponent, issue challenge. Should you defeat your adversary, you'll score a new card from your deck. The game of cards is an age-old played for the people of all ages, and you'll find players in every corner of the world. 
Would you like to know more about the game of cards? Uh, broadcasting collection. You throw them back. To, you can throw them back to gain mana, or play it on the board if you have enough mana. Once you're on the board, they will hit your opponent or hit or his cards. Get your opponent's hit points to zero to win. All right, so the card game is very different. There are three lines with two cards on each side. Cards close to your opponent can deal damage. If there is an opposing card, they they will fight. If not, your opponent will be hit. When a card takes too much damage, it goes to the back to the draw pile. All right, this seems a bit more complex than the previous game. Some cards can do more than just fight. Range deals damage even if it's on the back row. First strike deals damage first. Trample excess damage continues on to the next target. Magic gives one mana per turn. Heal rare is rare. Heals the card in front of it. All right, so all right, let's uh... all right. Let's see if we can understand this. So we have one mana. Uh, maybe it would help if I uh, played Pokemon or even understood Pokemon. So I think I hit the guy there, yeah? I'd preferred like the pre. The, I'd have preferred the. Um, I think I would have preferred the card game from like the first Evo Land, the triple triad kind of game. So I guess the idea is like it tells you the attack points, right? And then So if I attack here with a I've got to drop one back though, haven't I here? The heel hit for two. Other than the fact I'm, I'm losing, which I, I know. I'm dead. Uh, okay. 
I I I I, I want to get the grips for this. Right, so I can't play that. Put that back. Can't play that. And I can't play that. So I've got to put everything to the back. Nothing I could have done there. They hit me for two. So I've got six points, right? This costs four to play. So if I place that there... I can place this one here. Which is like a back row attack, I guess. It's like a long range attack, I think, is what the bow probably means. And then get rid of that one. Yeah, there we go. So that gets rid of both their cards. Okay. So I think the axe is the, the trample um, thing. The bow is long range. And these are obviously the only three cards that I have at the minute. So, um, put that back, put that there, that there. Okay. So he's got a heal card there. The, the gems are a heal, I think. Which is okay. That's okay. So then I could do... Right, I need four to place that on the board. But if I was to... Take him back... Oh, is he going to give me three back? I don't know what the bottom left is. How did, did your first appointment go well, Mika? All right, so I don't really, I don't know what the orange, I don't know what the orange number is. the only thing I'm unsure of. But I think I've won. Should hit for two, should hit for two. Yeah, he's dead. Well played. Can you teach me to play like this? There, you deserve this card. We got the bats. Man, there's 61 cards to collect. It's going to turn to a card stream now, isn't it? Orange's attack power, okay. I'll place him back row. There we go. Bad to hear it went well, Mika. Alright, so you got one extra heart damage there because it was 3 3, wasn't it? Yeah. So yeah, that takes that out. That does that, and that does that. Okay, I don't think I'm getting the hang of this. <laughs> I quite got into the card game in Evo Land 1, to be fair. That was like more of a numbers game based on the uh, triple triad game from Final Fantasy VII, uh, Final Fantasy VIII. Um, so I kind of knew how to play that um, straight off the bat, which was quite nice. All 
Alright, we win. That one's, uh... Alright, the card's got a little bit easier. I'll have my revenge. There, you deserve this card. We got the madcap. I promise I won't play cards or stream. do like mad damage here. Oh, I've won again. You're very lucky, I you know. Wait, don't I get... You didn't give me a card. I feel... I feel cheated. I feel cheated. Play Yu Gi Oh! And <laughs> see it now. It was so close. No, it wasn't close. guys. Don't worry, we're almost through everybody in here and then we'll move on, I promise. <laughs> oh, this guy's this this person's got double the health that the uh, everybody else I've fought so far has had, so this is um, interesting. Yeah, but the fact that there's like 61 cars to collect Death Wish, we're going to be here for uh, some time. <laughs> no, you don't place him in... Well, you, you can place it kind of place him in random... Oh man, he's got a big hitter there. You can kind of place him in random places for a start, Mika. 
Um, but then it's pretty much strategy. All right, let's get this guy out of here. Yikes, made a mistake there. So I was looking at the, um, I was looking at the value in the top left. Oh, jeez. Big yikes. Oh man, this is in zone two. It's not even going to leave a dent, is it? Yikes. Alright. Yeah, so I was looking at like the, the cost in the top left and I thought if I returned it, that's how many I would get back. But it seems that that's not the case at all. I need to check that a little bit better. Let's just back this up, this one up with this. It's long range and it's uh, an attack there. I gotta set some defenses up though for like the um, those big attacks. There's a nicer and better version of this for free on Steam. Don't tell me that. <laughs> Alright, let's put that archer back for now. Put that there, and we'll take them points back. Oh, he's... Yeah, the computer's just, like, taken massive points back there, haven't they? That's concerning. I think it's where they're going to pull out the big hitters. The hell is that? What sort of card is that? <laughs> uh, sure. need to take two more damage uh, sorry four more damage so I can do this this and that should kill the computer I want that special card man I lost again there you deserve this card Programmer art. Yes, I think that's a special card. Alright, that's enough cards for now. Oh, I've got to find these other keys then. After a trip to Walk Donald's. Close right now. My grandpa left me this restaurant when he passed away. He made a killing off it, but I'm just not happy with the quality of the food. I've sampled loads of dishes, but I can't quite find the right taste. I need to go off in search of some really epic ingredients. But I'm kind of stuck here. Hey, you guys look like fearless adventure types. Would you be willing to fetch the three epic ingredients I need? Oh, thank you so much. I'm Kang on you. Go find three epic ingredients and bring them back to me. Um, can I just ask what exactly are the epic ingredients?
my house. Who are you? And what are you doing in my home? Oh, I know you. Not this nightmare again. Listen, I'm going to wake up soon, so I just wanted to tell you one more time. Tell you, tell you how sorry I am. I should have listened to you. Yes, should have listened. I was only following orders. I had no other choice. All those people, dead. Because of me. My fault. If only... If only you'd carried the Emperor's seal of confidence, as I do. My Medal of Honor. I never take it out of the cabinet nowadays. I don't deserve it. Leave me! I'll take it then. Alright, so, well, there's a kid. Sorry, but you can't come in here. Be bad for the kiddies, but they earned it. Alright, so I have two of the keys. What? You know about the great disaster and stuff? Ugh. Don't rattle me to my folks. They'll ground me again. You won't squeal, right? Uh. I'm in so much trouble. Alright, so I say yes. You're pretty awesome. Here, you can borrow my key. Thanks. So that's three keys. We got mana. Welcome to the Great Library of Geneva. We catalogued the most ancient texts to be closely studied. Oh, are you interested in the history of the Empire? Did you know that after the Empire was defeated, a staggering number of demons appeared in Demonia, as if by magic? It only served to prolong the war, and many died in its wake. I'm beginning to worry about dear Miss Velvet. I do hope she didn't encounter trouble while travelling to that pirate island. I already have more important things to do than chat with former students. You better not let them see me. You're right there though, love. I'm searching for a very special book procured by the explorer Largo during the expedition to the frozen continent. Now, I could have sworn it was around here. Saddling to death wish. Still need to find three keys. One. Yeah, I've got three. Profit. The, so the prophet's the one that caused the great disaster, which is interesting. Oh, there's another child here. I'm gonna grow up to bargain just like him. I'm a hard-nosed businesswoman. What? My key? Sure, it's for sale, but I don't think you can afford it. Super rare, you know. Okay, if you insist, I'll give you a discount. Are you ready? I'll give my key for 10G. Sure. 
What? Really? You're gonna buy my key for 10G? Wow. Awesome. I'm rich. Here you go. If only you knew the value of money, child. Alright, so we need to find one more kid. Who's there? You think I'm gonna tell you where I hid my key? Ha 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 ha. If you were a mailman, you might have a shot, but you're out of luck. Alright, so it's in the post box somewhere then, right? Alright, so it's all five keys. Let's head on here. What, do you want to see your beast? First, you got to bring five keys to prove you're one of us. We each keep it close, so it won't be easy. What? You've got the five keys? Whoa, you're totally awesome. I'll let you in then. The Prophet will see you in a bit. That uh, I think it'll be hiding in one of the pots. I don't think I can get that one though, can I? Will you stop following me around? Who do you think you are going, to, going around breaking everything in our base? You can't prevent the great disaster from happening anyway. You'll never manage to get all the way here. What is this now? Push pipe, pipe push paradise? Soccer ban. Can I not flick this lever? Lever, I guess not. Hmm. Okay. So. To me, this is more, uh, yeah, like I said, Push Pipe Paradise. If you've ever seen, if you've ever seen that game, uh, I did play it once on the channel way back when. So breaking pots through the walls. Oh my god, it's exactly what I was thinking about, but this time. <laughs> Here's Mika. Alright, so how do we... Oh, wait a second. I know, man. Mika was like, just... He's, he's, he's ruined the dream for us all. 
Who doesn't want to be famous, right? Yes, okay, so we do this. Then we can push this one up. Then push this one down. this one down then I can push this one across push that one up and then yeah I got it we got it Filled it all up with water. It's all good. All right. Thankfully, we can do that to get out. Now, I guess we're going to go back this way. Ah! Look what you did! You collected the five keys. You flooded our secret base. Water covers everything. And you shattered my pots into smithereens. You are... The Great Destroyer! BTTF? So that's how you become the Great Destroyer, Kiro. I guess we got worked up over nothing, but we still have to stop the Prophet. We run into him in the future. He's clearly nuts. He must be behind the great disaster. You see those droplets hovering above the water? I think I can use my power to freeze them. It's worth a shot, right? Sure. That's a no-go. Oh, back to the future. Uh, it's probably gone now, Deathwish. Don't know if it had despawned. Well, we can certainly check. Yeah, it's gone. It's long gone. Plus, there's no... Uh, there's no water droplets there to freeze, so. Uh. Hey, who are you? 
What is with all these people getting in our secret base today? You want to prevent the great disaster, is that it? The great disaster? What disaster? Huh? You're a demon. Hey, he asked you a question. So answer him. I... Don't eat me. I'll tell you everything. It was our plan, me and my friends. For the 50th anniversary, we're going to make a great disaster happen. It's their fault too. The adults. They punished us. No fireworks, they said. So we figured we could still light everything up. And boom. But that's it. I swear. Did I, Mika? Thanks for hanging, buddy. And thanks for the uh, the eight months, buddy. Really appreciate that. Thank you very much, buddy. You call that a great disaster? A great disaster is when your entire people is wiped out. It's when all you have left is rage and the will to seek vengeance. You be patient. The real great disaster is coming. The one that will give you the taste of defeat and humiliation. The one that will avenge the crimes you humans committed. Collect all the energy from this place. Just a little more. A tiny bit more. Who are the new guys? So you're the ones who are going to spark the great disaster. Well, we're here to stop you. Oh, really? You think you can fight us when you we are prepared to die for our cause? I'm not frightened of danger. Great destroyer, save me! We're stopping you here and now, so we can protect the future. We'll see about that. Everybody freeze! What the hell is going on here? Hey, where did they go? Behind us! It's an ambush! I knew they were dangerous. They can't do anything against us because we are... The Imperial Special Forces! <laughs> That'd be nice. You are under arrest. Great! Thanks to you, we'll be able to stop those demons. Demons? Nobody said anything about demons, did they? No. The suspect's a young man and two women. Humans. That's definitely them. Plum. Cherry. I think it's time we took our leave. Did I miss you, Fab? Catch you later, buddy. Kuro. Quickly, we gotta stop them. Great destroyer. I'll take care of these special forces. Thanks. Run. The best we can do for now is go ahead after those demons. You followed us? Go on ahead, I'll take care of them. Watch yourself. Okay, let's have a little fun, shall we? Oh my goodness, what is this now? So. No! We fell down the pit.
No, I did the same thing again. <laughs> Jump up there. Jeez. Wow, I crushed myself. Jeez, all right, I'm, I'm getting lost with the acronyms. <laughs> I guess the DBB is death by box. And it's right by a safe spot as well. Uh, no offense at him, but I think your counter needs a bit of work. Same place again. Does every death count as a thousand? Is that is that what's happening? That is rough. There's no like easy way to like destroy them boxes. Oh, of course there is. Yep. Yeah. Totally forgot about my special powers. To do that, jump up and take out the first lot of boxes. I tell you what it is, if you get if you like park yourself like close up to the box it's like an because it's an auto scroller the game's just kind of forcing you to go down certain like to, to move into the box and I'm getting crushed by again I'm getting crushed by the boxes
No! Man, I feel cheated. How does the, uh, how does that dude like appear there now? Too quickly. When do we get um, death by uh, crushed by screen transition? When do we get that one? Mega Man? Oh my godness, it is Mega Man. <laughs> now that we're done warming up, let's get down to business. I think our powers from our other guys really helped too much there. The, the charge attack from uh, Fina didn't help, and like I could, didn't look like I could like freeze Cherry either. So let's um, let's let's have out this again, shall we? TV boss. freeze. Don't think the freeze really did much though. I love the way Deathwish called that out before it even happened.
Wow. Uh, I thought you were meant to get better with attempts, not worse. I'm gonna go grab myself a quick beverage. I'll be right back. Alrighty then. Once again, hotkeys revealed. <laughs> I just need to work on like the um, dodging, I think, more than anything. Learn the attack patterns a little bit better. And we might stand a chance. Time I think I've like got it like sussed. I just get caught up, and once I, it's almost like once I start getting caught up, I can't then. I was doing well at like dodging, but I wasn't doing so good at attacking. That was the last, that was the longest I lasted. And we got to over half health. I just need to be a bit more consistent with like hitting in between. like trying to dodge and when I'm jumping up in the air I every time I like hit her when I'm trying to dodge that attack
this uh, this boss came to play. That's what I mean. I'm like jumping there to dodge that attack. Playing a bit of catch up there, Deathwish. <laughs> Yeah, that freeze attack is rubbish. There's nothing against this boss at all. That was much better. I kind of got a bit of a strategy there where I was jumping the opposite direction to avoid. And I feel like I was surviving a lot better by doing that. I'm being backed into a corner there, though. That's the only thing. I've got to like try and not get myself backed into that corner. Can't see the attacks. <laughs> ah, couldn't see your attacks. Right, now I've got a fly flying around my light, distracting me as well. <laughs> Let's bring out all the excuses, why not?
Went the wrong way. Oh, man. Uh, this is definitely the, like the hardest fight I've dealt with on this game so far. off that attempt I just can't deal with that like jump attack when she um, uses the aerial attack and like in three bullets and follows it with like a jump like that I think I've just got to try and when I when I jump away my next move has got to be a jump towards her I think Really hard to charge up like that, um, like longer attack as well, because if you get hit, it sort of resets the the charging time. So. We did it! <laughs> we did it! Sephiroth, thank you very much for the raid with the party of six. Thank you very much. <laughs> thank you very much for the follow. Jeez, that fight was like ridiculous. Holy smokes. What was you playing, guys? Thank you very much for the raid. Appreciate it.
Evo Land 2. And what are your thoughts? Is it your first time through? This is my first time through and I'm absolutely loving it. I'm loving like all the references and everything. Um, and the crossovers. Um, yeah, like I said, is it your first time through? You are strong. Perhaps you can stop him, protect him from his own madness. Plum and I were not strong enough. Help him. He is all alone. Not your first time, but never completed it. And uh, then it's the first. Oh, you kind of like a. You you like a, a double kind of like you like a team. That sounds like really like a bad way to describe it, but um, I mean, like, obviously you're a, like a, a team of like streamers kind of thing. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Sorry for like lack of a better description there. <laughs> The other two got away. We have to find them. They're probably long gone, but we have to find them if we want to stop this great disaster. Not before opening this chest. I still can't believe it, if what you say is true. What, what could have caused such an explosion? It would require an enormous amount of energy. I don't know. Got any ideas, Kuro? Uh, no. It's quite a mystery. We probably won't find any clues in Geneva. We'd best look elsewhere. Yeah, I'm I'm absolutely loving it. Um, we played through Evo Land One uh, a couple of weeks ago, and we like literally like flew through it in two hours. And I was just like just like really getting into it, and then it kind of uh, um, it kind of like came to an end. But I'm, I'm so glad that like they continued to build on that idea with Evo Land 2, and I've absolutely loved every minute of it so far. Like, all the references, all, like, the game crossovers and everything. It's just, like, absolutely fantastic. I absolutely love it. It's great, though, that they, they, they took Evo Land 1, and they were able to, like, build on that to, like, to come up with Evo Land 2. Uh, I don't think we need to go back in the secret base anymore. So, all right, so we got to go elsewhere to look for the others, right? And we're looking for what could have caused the explosion. Uh, if I can remember my way out, it's not the way out. But yeah, thanks, Sam. Thanks, Seth and Ven. Appreciate it. appreciate the uh, the raid. Thank you very much for the follow, and uh, welcome along. All right. So, uh, I wonder if this... Oh, that's the mine, isn't it? Is that... A... Kind of looks... Is that like a Cortex? Crash Bandicoot Cortex? Oh, what happened to guards? Terrorists, stop them! Do you want to play some cards? <laughs> There's terrorists, but do you want to play cards? I think I prefer the, um, I, I prefer the cards in the, um, in the first game, if I'm honest, though. I like the uh, the Final Fantasy VIII Triple Triad style of games, where you got to sort of like match up the, uh, the sides with the numbers. I do like that one. But no, I'm, I, this is like my first time playing like this sort of card game. Um, and it's pretty interesting. So that'll hit for three. And I 
Yeah, I changed. I decided to change the um, the the tiers for the bot to sort of match like the airboat kind of theme. Oh man, she got, she got three of these cards. That's not good. Uh, okay, so we could do some. We need to take out these cards. Hmm. Uh, damage limitation. So the we we oh man we're dead. The um, the airboat comes from uh, Portal, if you uh, or Half Life, you know, and we. Because Portal is built on the Half-Life engine, um, we was playing some Portal mods and we spawned in the airboats just like for a bit of a laugh and um, tried to drive it through a, uh, a fizzler in Portal and it completely like pretty much blew up the game. <laughs> and um, the airboat's just been a bit of a meme ever since on the channel. So um, yeah, all the points and everything has been sort of rebranded to uh, airboats. So uh, yeah. <laughs> I was seeing all of that. So, are all the. So, mm, okay. They're in the mine! Attacked by demons! Alright, so do we. Can we now get in the mine? Are you sure you want to do this? You saw what they've become. Demons, a superior race. How could they see themselves as slaves to these humans? They do not deserve to go on living. Very well. I will do as you wish. I think by strategically placing these bombs, I should be able to collapse the mine. They will all die. Is this really what you want? They are demons no longer. We've got company. Let me take care of them. Why do I get the feeling we're about to go into like a Bomberman crossover? As you wish. If you are here, that means my sister Cherry. You shall pay! Okay. Can't hit the bombs. Oh, we might be able to hit the bombs back. Yeah, okay, we hit the bombs back. the hearts Yikes. We did it! No death wish. No, not death by a bomb. <laughs> Take it back. <laughs> Who are you? You are not one of those weak humans. I will not die here. I still have to help my prince satisfy his need for revenge. I'm sure we'll see one another again soon. All 
Right, interesting that the light left the bombs. I mean, we can now have bombs as a as an ability. Yes, it does. All we need now is a boomerang to complete your adventurer costume. All right. Uh, so I wonder how we. I'm sure it'll tell us how we place bombs. Okay. Right, so we just literally do a bomb there with square. And rat be dead. Wonder if there's any um, interesting goodies to be found here while we. Take care of these bits and pieces. Stand there, knock. Thank you. Right, so of course we've got to clear the track. So we can go forwards that way. I'm guessing we can't go and break these. And I'm guessing our abilities won't do anything there. You want a DBR? <laughs> you just you just you just want a DB D by and DB anything to be fair, Deathwish. Dumb but unsurprising. Patience! Have some patience, not come on. Right, so that does that, that does that, and then we need to switch the other tracks here. So we need to get that chest, don't we? Bit of a shame you can't place multiple bombs just to sort of speed the process up, but. We got the green goop. Second. 
we was to blow this up, do we come off the tracks? Yeah, but I, I did switch it, Deathwish, but then it... Oh, yeah. Say no more. <laughs> I was trying to do it in one go. All right. Anyway, shh, no spoilers. down here at the minute mate actually I might be trying something that's not possible at the moment oh I could just do that that works Uh oh, we got a creeper. To get the Minecraft in. Did you do an airboat challenge, uh, Deathwish? Did I didn't see it? that they kind of like get rid of everything you have to do it all over again because there's so much of it death wish you have um, I'm gonna say 32,364 airboats why I was going to say nine because you don't get odd numbers of uh, channel points on Twitch. <laughs> you don't think you do. I was too low. You've obviously been lurking in more streams than you've been uh, active in lately. 
32,000 is a low guess. Jeez, oh man. Ugh, concentrate. So for anybody that uh, doesn't know what's going on there, Deathwish often puts out a challenge. He'll, uh, there is a $10 reward if you can guess what, uh, how many airboats Deathwish has at this moment in time. And uh, my guess there of 32,000 was uh, a little bit too low, apparently. So... I wonder if there's like some hidden achievement for like getting killed by a creeper or something. Yikes, that was like instant boom. Wait, the rat kicks the fring? The fring? Yes, the rat kicks the fring, everybody. We all know what a fring is, right? It's a fring. And lots of the green goop. To be honest, I can't I I can't remember what the green goop does. I think you have to um, you have to take it somewhere and mix it with something. So I can't go through there because of yeah, I can't go through there at the minute because of the. Um, being blocked by those logs, so we'll just have to go up the top, I guess, for now. TNT there. And that's not what I wanted to do. I think. And then from here. It's going to be like that. And that's going to be that. So yeah, that'll take us around to where we need to go. Kick bombs. Dude's like just like stuck on the uh, on the uh, scenery. Really yeah, uh, disaster. It's 
So we've got the Minecraft TNT there, look. In the, in the corner. I think even some of like the stuff on the floor is like a reference to the uh, the cold texture as well from Minecraft. Uh, all right, where am I going? I'm just sort of aimlessly, well not aimlessly, but I'm just kind of out there in trouble. Okay. Stop following these bombs, man. Watch out for exploding boulders. Be careful when moving the dynamite. I'll be careful. <laughs> oh, you gotta laugh. <laughs> DBD. Indeed. Warnings are for chumps. What sort of person takes a warning about dynamite seriously, right? I have an idea of how I could... Push it, okay. No. Should probably just try and get rid of a lot of these people. Like people, not people, are they? These bad guys. Idiota! Yeah, the only thing I would say about this section is it I find it like a little bit harsh that you have to like redo all of the bombing stuff. it takes such a long time to sort of, I mean, there's probably like a much better path around here of course but knowing me I'm taking the the, the real long way around Being a dumbass. It's the knockway.
Alright, I really need to stop doing that now. That was almost another death. Find it comical that that like dude gets stuck in the uh, dude just gets stuck there on that uh, shovel or whatever it is. I think it's a shovel. All right, slowly, slowly catch your monkey. Just for a secret, we got an Oricanor! What have we got now? Five of them. Two mana as well to level up our characters. Which we must do at some point. Alright, anyway. Uh, so we've done all that, we've done all that. Do we need to go here? Is there anyone else to go? Oh, we need to get some over here. Alrighty then. We we'll go at the top. I'll take free any day of the week, Deathwish. I tried, man. I tried. You only get one. You only get one shot, though. So, you know. Let's go then. Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez. That, ladies and gentlemen, is why you save your game. I don't think I want to be in there just yet. Let me try that again. The funny thing is, I don't know that there's anywhere safe to stand. Missing rail. Now you can carry on with your peaceful little wagon ride. Or can I? I guess that's for here, though. So he's. Oh, so obviously, I need to find more than one piece. I need to find a piece for each. 
chest there. Right, we've got that next piece. experience as well. So it doesn't look like there's anywhere, nowhere I don't th think to get into the other area. Oh, we're dead. Well, we're not dead, but that would be good. We're just sort of blowing stuff up for the sake of blowing stuff up at the minute. Alright, so there's a chest there that we need to look at. Alright, so I'm guessing this will then change that track over there. Then we change this again, and then we can go back. If I can get the minecart, that is. chests. The other piece of track must be this direction. Save as well now. No, you just don't need a bad short-term memory. Oh, wait a minute. Uh oh, the moles want a piece of knock. the moles are just like infinite spawning. Might be wrong. Nope, they're not infinite spawning. 
Actually, they were pretty easy to deal with. You can kind of trap them with uh, in between two bombs, and when one bomb goes off, like the next one will um, go off at the same time as it gets caught. So. Alright, let's go with our final piece of rail here. And away we go. Try how to get that other chest though. Got the super bomb. What's better than a bomb? Lots of bombs. Let's do that. Uh oh, mistakes were made. <laughs> Stop this. I'll be dead in no time. say that is pretty fun. Experience as well though. Racking up the old experience. Okay, so then fix the broken track. Go through here. What could possibly go wrong here? I kind of feel though that suit these super bombs should have been introduced a little bit earlier, just to uh, save some of the old backtracking we did. But at the same time, I guess I should have just played the game better. Guys, taken care of. I 
guess they're there so that you can't take the TNT with you. So you followed me here. What do you hope to accomplish? And you, what are you up to exactly? Ha! Just who do you think I am? One of those bad guys who launch into a monologue and reveal their plan to the heroes? But you don't actually have a plan, do you? Of course we have a plan! Not that I'm going to tell you about it. In this kind of situation, the hero always learns enough to thwart the bad guy. I don't know about you, Kira, but I think she's bluffing. They don't actually have a plan. I agree. I am telling you we have a plan! Well, fine, I will just reveal the, the an eensy bit of it. We're all ears. I try to be convincing about it. All will think it's not real plan. I will do my best. So our plan is to collect the Magi energy, enough to get into the Professor Gyro's lab. The Professor... P Professor Gyro? The one who lived when the Emperor still ruled the land? The one who supposedly rediscovered Magi's secret, but to build a weapon of immeasurable power? The immeasurable power, even. You already know too much. Far too much. I will not say another word, and I think I'll shut up too. I think I'll shut you up too. Apparently they do have a plan, and it doesn't sound good at all. Hey, those are my bombs! I was wondering where I left them. Give them back. You think you have a choice? Uh-oh. Oh man, I was quite enjoying using my... Uh, my bombs. Go through all that monologue thing again. Kind of sucks. Oh no, we're all good. Well, the first bit's easy. I miss my bombs. I'll be honest, I miss my bombs. <laughs>
All right, well, the first part of the fight's easy. We don't need to worry about that. Second part of the fight, I think we just need to... Um... Second part of the fight, I think we just need to, like, just bide our time and um, just, like, keep destroying its shield. Well, we didn't have as... Uh, we didn't have as good of a session through that bit as uh, we did the first time. I can also attack. Deathwish just sees it coming every time. Just got to be more spatially aware of the bombs around me, I think, and then I'll, we'll be fine. the bust. Thirty six HP, you might as well call it now, Death Wish. I hit the bomb! No! Least amount of health, and that was probably the best fight I've had. <laughs> the irony. Alright, we got this. It's definitely easier than the, uh, the Mega Man boss. Definitely. I just need a better opening. have such a great like how did I have such a great um, attempt where I like took no damage on that first part of the fight and now I just can't help but absolutely get annihilated that's called uh, luck for sure
The thing is, though, Deathwish, if it had been my first attempt, then I would have agreed with Beginner's Look, but it wasn't even my first attempt. Yeah, I need to... I need to better myself on that first bit. Without question. Backed into a corner, there's nothing I could do. Yeah, we was really close there. I gotta try not to get backed into the corner though. It's definitely gonna be key. What would we do with that atom? hurting. Oh, this fight is rough.
Oh, come on! So, uh, anybody got any better strategies? Almost did that flawless, apart from those last two little bloody touches there. Yes! We did it! You really are strong. Now I see how you managed to defeat Cherry. And I also understand what she wanted the mo what she wanted the moment she died. Her last words, Cherry wanted to stop your boss from sparking the great disaster. Yes. We should have stopped him from from the beginning. Prevented this madness given up this revenge that will only perpetuate the cycle of violence. But who are we to make such a decision? It is our duty to obey him. I don't believe anyone should have to follow orders. We all have free will. Why should you let someone decide for you? That is not what I, I was taught. Had I been stronger? Perhaps. But you, you are strong enough to stop him. Just promise me not to hurt him. He has suffered so much over the years. We'll stop him with your help. It is too late. I'm sorry, I cannot help you. Everybody freeze. Oh, they're back again. You for real? <laughs> hey, where'd they go? Behind you. Behind us. Another ambush. They won't get away this time. We'll catch them because we are... The Imperial Special Forces! Give it up. You're surrounded. Well, technically we're not surrounding them. If they wanted to, they could escape by running to the right. Don't give them any ideas. Quiet! It's protocol during the arrest. We must inform the crooks that they're surrounded. So, as I was saying, give it up, you're surrounded. Is it me or did they just move? It looks that way, but I'm not so sure. But Chief, didn't you tell everyone to freeze? <laughs> so dumb. Chief, they're gone. How could that be? We barely took our eyes off them. Let's go after them.
They have an important mission. I cannot let you stop them. Plum! She sacrificed herself for us. That was very brave of her. Now let's stop that guy. Let's go to Professor Gyro's laboratory. I've always wondered if there was a way in. Wondered if there was a way in, and indeed there will be. All right, guys. Well, that's probably going to be a good place, uh, if any, to uh, stop the stream for today. Thank you very much, everybody, for tuning in. A massive shout out to uh, Mika and Deathwish for their resubs and for uh, Seth and Ven for uh, their raid and their follow. Thank you very much, guys. I really appreciate it. We'll be back streaming on Saturday night, but it will not be even. And we'll be back to Port 2. We'll be picking up with um, Light Slicer, which we uh, left off on the last uh, Port 2 community stream. So uh, same time on Saturday, 9.30 p.m. BST, uh, we'll be doing that. And Everland will return a week Thursday, I think. Week Wednesday, week Thursday. One of those two. Check the schedule though on the channel. There is a schedule up if you want to see one. We'll be playing Evo Land next. But guys, thank you very much for tuning in. I really do appreciate the support. And until next time, I've been Nock. You've been awesome. Stay safe. And until next time, happy gaming. Now, right, guys.